Okay. Okay. Well, let's do this. Let me kind of give you a, a, a kind of a little general um, prelude, and then we'll go and hit each one separately. Because, you know, I believe that when you're when you when you're putting a team together, you need to figure out where is your ultimate goal. Where are we trying to get this business to, and why am I putting a team together? And um, you know, what's my end goal? What do I want this to look like? And sometimes I think we, uh, we as real estate agents, start putting these teams together with an unclear um, picture of what the true benefits of going to the seventh level really is. Um, and let me tell you what I mean by that. There's no way when I first started putting a team together and adding team members and all those things, you know, I was doing it for 50 more deals, 100 more deals, 150 more transactions, because I kept thinking 50 more transactions, 100 more transactions was going to solve, you know, was just going to be the end all, end all. And the truth is, is that really wasn't what the great gift of putting a seventh level team really was. In other words, you know, so, so I think we need to get clear about what, what is the benefits and why are we trying to do 7th level. Because there's only two reasons to do 7th level. One is to build an asset-based business that can live beyond you. Okay? And um, free up your time to go out and build other streams of income. That's what I, tr that's what I truly believe the true benefit of going to 7th level is. Um, you know... The other benefit for some people might be to go lay on the beach in Tahiti, <laughs> but most people are not financially in a place where they can do that. And so I, you got to be clear about why you're, you know, because what, what what you're doing each time you add a team member is you're giving up money to give your get your life back is what you're doing. Because all of us have the same problem. We either need more money or we need more time, and sometimes we'll say we need both. But the truth is, you know, I got to get real clear about what do I need these team members to do for me? Because the thing that doesn't happen is you don't give up these um, these positions uh, and and make without going a little bit backwards. In other words, making a little bit less. So you you you've got to say, okay, at the end of the day, what I really really ultimately need to do is figure out passive streams of income, or if that's what I want to do, or maybe I want to go lay on the beach in Tahiti, but. You know, if I want to build multiple streams of income, then what I really have to do is I have to figure out what does real estate leverage me into? What does it, what other streams of income can I now take my time and my energy and my talents and go work on? Does that make sense? Okay. And so I always say at any point in your life, you can be working on this passive income stream side. What happens when you go to seventh level is seventh level just means it's now on that passive stream side. So uh, with that being said, to me, that's the bigger gift and the bigger picture that I had no idea. I always say to people, if, you went, if I went back in time 12, 13 years, I could have never drawn for you the way my life looks right now. Because as a real estate agent, there's no way we can conceptually see it because th these kind of opportunities have never been presented to real estate agents ever before. So that's why I couldn't have seen it is because I, no one had ever lived it beforehand. So now looking back, I can say... The, the true value and gift in, in building anything to the seventh level, number one is, is what you learn from doing it. The lessons you learn uh, and the things that you learn about success.